And who takes the bacon butties upstairs, Laura? But my, but I don't like bacon butties. Anyway, listen, look at this sandwich. Would you like to eat that today sometime? Mm. Yes. Okay, imagine if you take that upstairs to your room now and you drop bits off and you don't quite finish it. And in two weeks' time, this is the sort of thing that you end up with. It's mouldy. Mm, it is mouldy. Very not nice at all. You wouldn't want to be anywhere near it, would you? No. Now, there are two types of moulds that we found in your rooms. You only need to breathe in a few spores or get them on your skin to give you anything like asthma or hay fever or eczema on your skin. Nasty. Nasty. So, are you prepared to stop taking food upstairs? Yeah. And you'll stay healthy that way. Deal? Yeah. Yeah. Good. But not all bugs are bad, Aggie. Looks like Lara's been bitten by a cleaning one. But will she bear with it? What's this little guy's name? Um, Cookie Bear. Cookie Bear? He is lovely. He's very dirty though, isn't he? Because he slipped out of my head and, I, and he had it in the mud. And, and my sister Shaw picked him up and he was looking so grubby. Oh, yes, isn't true. Yeah, I like his bow. Do you know I like this bow as well? Now, we're going to get some of the smell off him and some of them aren't. This soap smells so pretty. Oh! It smells a bit in the nephodils. Doesn't it just? Now, watch. I'm going to try and be gentle because bless him and save him. See? Dee, 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 dee. Shampoo. Look. Then the other. <laughs> He's much lighter than he looks, isn't he? Do you want to have a go at the other top of his ear? Will you yeah. do it? Yeah, go on then. I know, I know the other, I know the other bits of We're going to be here all night, you know. Upstairs, the team is hard at work. Downstairs, even Ingrid has a lesson to learn. I took some swabs of the surfaces in the kitchen and actually things, although they look clean, they're not really as clean as they should be. In fact, I think maybe what you've been doing is wiping the surfaces with cloths or sponges that aren't clean. They're just spreading the germs and the germs are being allowed to grow. So here's what I want you to do every night. It's a good idea to put in the sink just a kettle full of boiling water, then a squeeze of washing up liquid and a capful of bleach, okay? And then the soap will clean the cloths and the bleach will disinfect them in the morning. They'll be clean and your sink will be clean too. And do I need to rinse the cloths out in the morning before I use them? Absolutely not. Just take them out of the sink, squeeze them out and you've got the soap and the bleach in there and they're gr it's great for wiping down your surfaces as it is. One last push and the house is ready. But the dust bunnies aren't off the hook just yet. Now the house is lovely and clean. Before we take you around, we've got something to show you. Oh yes, we've got a cleaning rotor for the dust bunnies. There's jobs to be done every day of the week, but on Sunday you can have the day off. Yes. Now, do you think you can all do that? Yay! Yeah! Oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Now, should we go and see the bedrooms? Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. Ingrid used to share her room with Lara, Mikey, and a mountain of washing. Now it's clutter free. She has her own special retreat for peace and quiet. One, two, three! Oh, blimey. It's, it's, I'm speechless. It's beautiful. It's huge. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I want my... my photo. Oh, darling. Can you see them now, can't you, properly? All right, love. Cool. It's marvellous, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome, darling. Thank you. It's going to be lovely for you and it's so peaceful, isn't mm -hmm. it? You know, you've got a space back for yourself and it's... <laughs> exactly, it's so important when you've got, you know, four of them running around all the time. You've got to have somewhere that you can come and just be peaceful, haven't you? I can't wait to go to bed. <laughs> well, this, I tell you what, we'll hear some snoring outside tonight. <laughs> Eleanor's room was once strewn with clothes, computer games and a crisp coating of crumbs. 
now is perfect for homework as well as having friends to play. One, two, three, open. Oh my god, how do I love this rug? Oh my god, really, really good. My boot shelf and everything so tidy in my life. You even found all my old bears. I didn't yes. have the, the lost for like forever. And have you noticed something else, Ali? Oh. It smells nicer, Jane. Reminds me of frozen peas, and I love frozen peas. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going to be eating your food from now on? Downstairs. Is that without yeah. exception? Without exception. But you look awfully happy, don't you? I am. I bet you've got one of the nicest bedrooms in your class. Lara and Mikey had a room which resembled a rubbish tip. Now it's spacious and spotless. They can find their toys without having to stand on them first. Three, two, one, open your eyes, Lara. Wow! It's nice. You like it, Mikey? I like it, darling. Yeah. Who's that on your bed? Cookie Bear. Cookie Bear. And what's on your bed, what, Mikey? What's that? A rocket. Rocket? Yeah, you're quite right. Mikey's rocking, aren't you, Mikey? I think it's smashing. It's so bright and colourful and clean. Yes. How are you going to keep Mikey in order, though? That's my worry. No. I'll keep an eye on him if he makes any mess. What will you do? I'll, I'll tell him to stop. OK, good. We're going to leave you in charge of this room. Yeah. And you. <laughs> Ingrid, it's been such a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. But we've got you back on the road again. So Thank you. All right, we're all the best for the future. All the best. Yeah, wish you all the best, my love. Thank you, Bye. Mikey. Bye, darlings. Bye. Bye. Bye, Ingrid. Bye, love. Bye. The future now is brighter because the kids are helping out and we're, we're a team and that's got to be good for us. Nigel would have been amazed. He'd be so proud to see the house looking so nice. And I can just see him saying to the children now, you lot better keep it this way, you know? He'd be amazed.